Today I'm going to show you how to scan someone's IP address within a couple clicks. For this video we will be using the most popular tools for this task, an angry IP scanner and Nmap, which is more of a security tool but about that later on in the video. So the first thing we need to do is just install the angry IP scanner and we can install the Nmap later on. We type in angry IP scanner, right, it actually pops up here, like the first link and free download and whatever you're running it is, I'm, I'm on Windows right for this video, I'm on Windows so I'm just going to install the next, I don't care whatever and now nah, I'm okay so now what we get is basically the window and this allows us to do whatever we want also please remember that this is for educational purposes only you shouldn't just run random tools if you don't know how they work or what kind of damage they can cause okay so now I'm going to show you how to use the angry IP scanner which is um, actually very very simple also I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of networking class but that will be very very fast if you type into the left corner, type in angry IP scanner and also be useful if you type in uh, CMD IP config, right? And that's all you need basically these two windows sort of. Now, when you have your window, what you get is these four options. You're normally interested in these two. You can change your host name. Your host name is just used to identify your device on the on the network, right? Okay, but before I actually show you how to run a scan, all you need to do is just come to tools, preferences, display. Now, I do recommend either changing it to a live host. All scan hosts will cluster your results. It's not really useful at all. Do not click that. Change it to, I would recommend a live host. Um, now, if I'm, ju I'm just going to let this scan run start. Okay, now if you come to the cmd type in ip config if you want extra results but i do recommend only doing this if you sort of understand networking a little bit or adapters ip config slash all because it's gonna cluster your results even more so what you're interested in is your main adapter your main adapter should be ethernet adapter ethernet zero right so ipv4 for me ipv4 address now notice that this is not your isp address this ip address can be exposed as much as you want this is your lan ip address only basically useful in your private network um, so basically as you can see these are all devices here right so I'm on a virtual machine so you only have basically two devices right so this one which is the one I'm currently on the Windows one and that's Kali Linux running in the background just to show you guys right these devices um, I'm not really sure what they do but I guess that's some DHCP servers and stuff because this is VMware and uh, virtual machine so there is some additional devices and some services that are just running in the background and um, now if you want to scan for example I'm gonna show you how to scan Google now so this is where the networking comes in and this is where we put the public IP addressing. If you put 8844, right, and I'm going to change this to 88, right, so I've put another IP range and I just press start. As you can see, I'm scanning Google. It says DNS Google. It shows you a green dot and it says 80, port 80, so that's HTTP. So as you can see, basically what I'm doing right now is I'm enumerating Google and I can see some ports open, right? So um, if there was any ports open like FTP, SSH, Telnet, PHP, MyAdmin, MySQL, this is also useful if you know the port number, for example, 21 is um, FTP. 3306 is MySQL if I'm, um, 3389 is RDP. Uh, you don't need to know all of them, but it's useful if you do know some of them, right? Right, so now I'm going to show you a real hacking tool, right, which is called Nmap. Nmap is a network security tool and also a reconnaissance tool which shows you vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, basically anything you can really think of as a very, very good tool. What we're going to do is, I'd, as I said, run this on Linux because it, it's five times easier. I'm pretty sure you can get it on Windows, but let's just focus on Linux right now. We're going to do sudo apt install Nmap. Just put your password in and it should install. As soon as you're done, what you can do is you can clear your screen by typing clear and then just type Nmap H. Once you get this help menu, all we need to do is just look for the options you want. These are called flags or switches. I like to call them flags because they're not really switches. I don't know why they're called switches, but it doesn't make any difference. Uh, what you really call them, right? Or you can also call them options. We're going to run sudo, which gives us admin privileges. And map is v, which basically enumerates ports, enumerates the version of ports and the basically extra information that we need. Hyphen o, which basically enumerates the operating system. And sc, which looks for vulnerabilities in a system, right? It also gives you a run scripts, basically to look for vulnerabilities and IP address. So in my case, it's the same IP address, 192.168.88.136. If you let this run, it might take a couple minutes. It matters really what you're going against. It should take no longer than a minute to run. Okay, so as you can see, I just uh, this can finished and what we get is basically a vulnerability straight away. Port 21, FTP, Microsoft FTP, which tells us this is a Windows machine. Also tells you right here. And the thing is the vulnerability is right here. FTP, anonymous, anonymous FTP login allowed, which is an, uh, um, a, something you don't want to 
basically have anonymous login allowed and it tells you the directories and files right so it tells me that there's two directories inside the inside the ftp server also tells you additional information um usually tells you sort of as you can see it says smb security mode account used guest authentication level user and it tells you some more information uh, it also tells you the exact operating system which is windows 10 windows 10 enterprise evaluation 6.3 so very very good information that we could use to hack this system or to scan this system so if you enjoyed this content don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment if you want to ask me anything you can always ask me on twitter if you want to see some specific content don't forget to leave a comment i'll check it out and if you have any questions ask me on twitter and peace